the beauty look for Francesco Sconamelio today is it's a natural beauty, um, but I wanted to give it a very fresh, almost kind of boyish feel. And so we're giving the girls a little bit of a dark brow, very gelled up. Instead of doing a smoky eye, we're doing a wet gloss on the lid with a little bit of dirty sort of contour underneath and a contour under the cheek. It's all based a little bit on a slight masculinity because Francesco's clothes are extremely feminine. And I think there's a big trend at the moment for almost going a little bit of the opposite in beauty. Basically, we have like a really strong woman. She has really flat hair, but in a very wavy, in a way, like in a natural way. This kind of really cloudy, fuzzy hair and a very shiny and uh, sparkly uh, texture. It's an understatement look, and that's why I think it's interesting because also Francesco Scornamilio is like always all kind of over the top with the looks. So we want to balance it and bring it down to the, you know, real woman. Well, I just start from the idea of the neoclassic period and also about the surrealism time. So it's, it's, I work with the, uh, all the history of the surrealism and neoplasticism. So for me, the art was a big, big moment to try to, uh, to find a translation and try to work on this new fall winter for my It's all metallic, it's like the metallic of the Cadillac, so it was like paint on. It's, you know, it's a lot of research, all the season, season by season, all the time.
All the seasons for me is like working on the women body and the women concepts for me is like all the time an examination. So it's a great work all the time.